at four. For the past three years, drivers across Central Florida have noticed something maybe a bit unusual on our streets and highways, street lights that are glowing purple. Yeah, I've seen it up and down. The turnpike crews have been working, though, to replace them. But the problem is not going away. Channel 9's Alexa Lorenzo spoke with turnpike officials who now say for the first time they are dealing with those uh, what they call a purple problem. It's become a familiar sight on the Central Florida Drive. Purple street lights. Very strange, very weird. We first told you about them back in 2022. Within that fixture, there is a bulb type material that has a coating, a phosphorus coating that is changing it to the hue of purple. It's a manufacturer defect and the purple doesn't like the road as well as the white. Since our first report, we've learned FDOT has replaced roughly 1,100 LED streetlights across Central Florida, mostly on I-4 and I-95. But take a look at what we saw on the turnpike. This is between I-4 and Consulate Drive. Officials say they first started noticing them a few months back and have replaced more than 360 lights since. So the manufacturer is covering the replacement costs and the labor to replace uh, the, the actual light bulb. So it doesn't cost the enterprise anything or Florida taxpayers. Yasir Mercado with Florida's Turnpike Enterprise says once they learn of a light that's gone purple, they try and replace them within 90 days. Some will take a bit longer, like the ones on the turnpike near Sand Lake Road, because they're replacing the full fixtures there as crews work to build a new interchange. We've also seen the purple lights down in South Florida, where Mark lives. Does it affect traffic or affect me driving? Probably not so much, but as far as the, the view on the roadway, yeah, it's just different. All the agencies and utility companies say the lights are not a safety issue. But it's not just our highways. It's on local streets, too. We saw a purple glow outside Lou Gardens on Corinne Drive. OUC says it's replaced more than 280 lights so far. Duke says they've fixed 200 lights since 2024. In Orlando, I'm Alexa Lorenzo for Channel 9 Eyewitness News.